how to insert arrow in Word document, the most simple but effective way to direct the viewer's attention. Hello everyone, I'm Josiah from the official YouTube channel of PDF Element. For teachers, laser pointers and pointing sticks are indispensable tools that help direct students' attention to a specific area on a presentation, on a map or a board. But have you ever wondered if there's a way to do this in a digital document? Well, stay with me to the end of this video because today I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to add arrows in your document so you can help your readers direct their attention to the right places on your document. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. If you've never used arrows in your documents before, well, now is a good time to start. Adding arrows to your Word document will greatly improve your reader's experience by providing a clear and visual focus on important information, making it easier to understand and retain content. For these reasons, today I wanna to share these tips with you. Number one, how to insert arrows in Word. And number two, how to insert arrows in PDF. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the first tip in today's video. Number one, how to insert arrows in Word. Microsoft Word is one of the most popular applications for document editing, and also allows you to add arrows with ease. With a wide variety of formatting and customization options, you can insert arrows to illustrate an idea, point in a direction, or highlight an important element clearly and attractively in your documents. Let me show you how easy it is to add arrows to your documents using Microsoft Word. Open your file with Microsoft Word and go to the Insert tab, which you'll find at the top of your screen. Now you can see some options and you wanna look for the shapes. And after clicking on shapes, you can see some sections with different types of shapes. If you wanna add an arrow, you can choose shapes, either lines or block arrows. Now you just have to click on the one you like most. After selecting the shape of your arrow, you have to place it. Now to do so, you just have to click on the part of the document you wanna add the shape, then hold the left button of your mouse and then drag to increase the size. Once you're convinced with the dimensions of the figure, you just stop pressing the left button of your mouse and you'll see that the arrow has been correctly added to your document. If you wanna edit the format of the arrow, Microsoft Word gives you many options. There you'll find basic formatting options like shape fill, shape outline, and shape effects which will help you change the appearance of the arrow, such as its color, add outline, and effects shading. As you can see, adding arrows to a Word document is a fun and effective way to interact with your readers to make your content easier to understand. However, it's important to remember that arrows, among other graphical elements, can cause compatibility issues when trying to open them from other devices. In these cases, using PDFs instead of Word documents is an excellent alternative, since in this way, you can make sure that the arrows, as well as many other formatting attributes and graphical elements, will always be displayed with the highest possible precision and quality. If you decide to use PDFs instead of Word documents, well, you're probably wondering how to edit and insert arrows in your document. Well, the answer is quite simple. Just as Microsoft Word allows you to modify .docx documents, well, there are specialized tools for editing PDFs. Personally, HiPDF is one of my favorites because HiPDF is a free online tool with which you can make all kinds of modifications. And best of all, you don't need anything more than your web browser to use it. Now, let me show you how to insert arrows in your PDFs using HiPDF. Open the HiPDF editor website and you can find its link in the description box below. Once you did, hit the choose file button and select the PDF file where you want to insert the arrow. Go to the features at the top of the document and click the add shape tool. Then you'll see three icons. Select the one with a diagonal line. After you click the diagonal line, a line will be inserted in your file. You can freely move it by holding your left mouse button and dragging the line to the place you want. When you click the line, you'll see four icons below. Choose the last of the four, which contains an arrow in the middle. Now you'll see three big lines, click the one with the arrow, and this will automatically turn the original line into an arrow. HyPDF also has other basic editing tools to customize shapes, through which you can change the color, line type, and thickness. More than enough for an online PDF editor. You may be wondering if you can change the size and the direction of the arrow, and the resounding answer is yes. Select the figure with a click. If you want to change its size, you must click and hold one of the three blank dots, then drag it until the arrow reaches the desired dimensions. To rotate the figure, go to the arrow icon with the shape of a circle and hold down the left button of your mouse. Drag it until you reach the desired direction of the arrow and release to confirm. As you can see, HyPDF is an amazing tool. With just a couple of clicks, you can insert arrows in your document. And if that weren't enough, HyPDF also has many useful tools that you can use for free. On the other hand, you should keep in mind that since it is an online tool, there are several technical limitations. 
that you can only avoid by using its offline alternative called PDF Element. Personally, I find PDF Element to be the best PDF editing tool. It has a friendly user interface and allows you to make practically any modification comfortably and reliably in seconds. Also, unlike High PDF, PDF Element does not require an internet connection. So it will be much easier and faster to do any type of editing. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, let me show you how easy it is to insert an arrow in a PDF with PDF Element. Before going further, confirm that you have the most up-to-date version of PDF Element installed on your device. If you don't, you can find and download it for free on the PDF Element official website or by following the link in the description below. PDF Element is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Open your PDF file with PDF Element and click on the Comment tab. Now go to the square icon and click on it. Now you'll see a drop-down list. Click the arrow feature and you'll be ready to insert an arrow. Press and hold the left button of your mouse and drag it until you reach the desired size of the arrow. Just stop pressing and the arrow will be ready. If you want to change the appearance of the arrow, PDF Element has some basic but very convenient options for doing so. To edit the shape, right click on it and from the drop down menu, select properties. After the previous action, a section will open uh, where you can edit the appearance of the arrow. Here you can find tools to change the color, thickness, and transparency as well as add shapes at the start and or the end of the arrow. And that was it. Adding arrows in your documents wasn't difficult, right? Although inserting arrows in a Word document is quite easy, I always prefer to use PDF files because they are a universal standard file format that preserves the fonts, images, graphics, and layout of any document, regardless of the software and hardware used to visualize it. That was all about how to insert arrow in a Word document. From now on, you will have no problem inserting arrows into your documents, whether you prefer to work with Word documents or PDFs. Keep in mind that if you prefer to work with Word documents and want to take the most of the reliability and compatibility advantages of PDFs, well, you can use PDF Element to convert your Word documents to PDFs thus using the management, editing, and protection features of this powerful tool. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If this video is helpful to you, I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to this channel. As I mentioned before, I will continue bringing you videos with many tips and tricks to make your work easier and more efficient. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you'll find more videos like this. See you next time.